Greetings and welcome. So frankly, Kenneth Copeland has been teaching false doctrines. One of those is his teachings on the operation of the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. So what I want you to do today is to listen to both teachings of Kenneth Copeland and then Pastor Gino Jennings' response as Pastor Gino Jennings debunks Kenneth Copeland's false Holy Ghost teachings. If you are watching this channel for the first time, we ask that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we upload life-changing videos. Let's go! Take my life and do something with it and give it to him. Don't you take your life. Give it away. Give it to Jesus and he'll give you his life and he'll give you his spirit. But Brother Copeland, I don't talk in tongues. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> see, he's just thinking you ever did in your life. I'm amazed. Well, see, I was a scriptural illiterate when I was baptized in the Spirit of God. But I, I see people come up to receive the Spirit of God and start frowning. Oh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> no, don't do that. This is wonderful. He's not out to hurt you. He wants you inside. <laughs> He doesn't want just inside. He wants on. And he wants you to be able to get the message that the For you see in the spirit, you are walking in that name, the same name that I bore when I was on the earth, my same name you are bearing now for you have been named after me and by my spirit, you walk like me and you talk like me and you get back what we lost at the Tower of Babel when I had to confuse their words and confuse their languages because they were in a place where as they could imagine it, they could do it. Well, if you can imagine it from the word. You can have it. You can do it. It's yours. It belongs to you. Healing belongs to you. My, my father belongs to you. Heaven belongs to you. The earth belongs to you. So rise up. Know that it's God. When you get it. And by that name and through those words, I will see to it that you know more than you think you know. That's what I said in tongues. Hallelujah. On the day of Pentecost, when they received the Holy Ghost, they speak with other tongues as the Spirit, as the Spirit, the Spirit give utterance. And yet you go to a church and when the preacher says speak, you speak, that's as the bishop give utterance, that's not right. the Spirit. That's you ain't right. got the same thing. That's right. If you got a church and a bishop, can tell you speak, yeah. and you speak, that's not the Holy Ghost. That's right. Talk back to me. Amen. Give me the second chapter of Acts of the Apostles. And at verse 4. Says what? And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with they began other to tongues. do what? And began to speak with other tongues. They began to do what? And began to speak with other tongues. How was it done? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. As Bishop. As the Spirit. As the Pastor. As the Spirit. As the Elder. As the Spirit. As your husband. As the Spirit. As the Spirit give up. Gave the utterance. Amen. You got a Holy Ghost. Yeah and a bishop or a false prophet come in your church and run some revival. That's right. And said, speak. And you start humming out, humming out. That's the devil. That's, that's the devil. That's faking. That's right. That's hypocrisy. That's right. The Holy Ghost is God. That's right. And no bishop can turn God on no. and turn God off. Amen. No man Amen. got power over God. That's right. God got power over man. That's right. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. What is that? They were all filled Glory with the Holy God. Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? And began to speak with other tongues. As what? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. If you go to any church Hallelujah. and your pastor or, or some false prophet run revival, That's right. when I count to three, yeah. Holy Ghost going to fall. Yeah. One, yeah. two, and everybody gets set. That's right. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, that's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. That's right. The Holy Ghost Hallelujah. is God. Yes. 
for you're baptized by one spirit That's right. into one body. That's right. And that one spirit is God. Amen. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. If you got a Holy Ghost, you can't feel. Yeah. Until you see your bishop, That's right. you ain't got the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Your bishop don't have the power to operate your Holy Ghost. That's right. Holy Ghost is a gift. That's right. James said, every good gift. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every perfect gift, gift. comes down That's right. from the Father of both. From the Father of light, right. of whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost come from heaven. That's right. Not from your pastor. That's right. Not from your bishop. No, no, no. Not from your apostle. Amen. So you can't feel the Holy Ghost until you get around your bishop. You don't have it. That's right. That's right. You don't have it. You don't have it. You ain't got nothing. That's right. Go ahead, man. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. What kind of ghost is it? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What kind of ghost is it? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. From a holy God makes a holy church. That's right. Makes a holy people. That's right. Holy Ghost from the holy God makes a hallelujah. A holy church makes a holy people. That's right. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. And began to speak with and other tongues. And began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit. As who? As the Spirit. How does it work? As the Spirit. How does it work? As the Spirit. How does it work? As the Spirit. As the Spirit do what? Gave them utterance. When the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Speak through you. Hallelujah. It's not controlled by music. That's right. It is not controlled by the choir. That's right. It is not controlled by the bishop. That's right. Because it is the power of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem with the church. Many of them didn't receive the real Holy Ghost. Real Holy Ghost. You receive a organizational ghost. That's right. A organizational ghost. God do not break his word to do nothing. God functions according to that book. That's right. How God gonna go opposite from the book Amen. and then tell you and I search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them ye thank ye have eternal life. That's right. But then he gonna do something opposite from the book? Oh no, no, no! And they were all filled Hallelujah. with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, thank God. Huh? Amen. They got to have it like it's written here. That's right. If it ain't written, I don't believe, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't care how popular anybody bishop is. That's right. If that thing ain't according to here, you're not gonna get me to believe it. That's right. I believe what's written. What's written? Therefore, have I, spoken. have I spoken. That's right. And what is that? In the book of Romans 15 and verse 4. Follow me in your Bible. For whatsoever Follow things, me in your Bible. Romans chapter 15, now we're at verse 4. We got, we believe what's written. That's it. Therefore, that's right. have I spoken. That's right. I want you to follow me in your Bible now. First Everybody all right? Amen. Glory to God. Come on, Cleveland. First in Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Chapter and verse again. Romans, the 15th chapter and at the 4th verse. Solomon. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. Were written for our learning. It was written for what reason? Our learning. For what reason? Our learning. How can you learn it if somebody don't teach it? That's right. If nobody teach it, then we are innocent victims. Right. And we can't do no more than what we know. That's we right. may be sincere, we may want to be right, but we are innocent victims of charlatans. Mm. The most dangerous place in a church is up here. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. The most dangerous place. That's right. In a church. That's right. Is in the pulpit. Oh, yes. If somebody died with the wrong information that you gave them, yes. 
Give me the book, in the of, book Ezekiel. of Ezekiel, chapter 3. And then we go back to where we were. In There's the so much Bible crowding my mind here. Amen. The most dangerous. When these men tomorrow say, oh, I got the calling, I got the calling. You got the calling to do what? Yes. You have many false prophets. Oh, yes. Many are called. Yeah. Few are chosen. That's and you true. can tell they're not chosen. Right. Because a man that's not chosen, run in, he run after everything. That's right. And any old trash he believes. Right. He's like a chameleon. Wherever he go, he don't want to offend them because he want to give them those dollars. So he go in and say amen to them, go somewhere else, say amen to them. I believe in old-fashioned, holy sanctification. That's right. This old modern trash that came in the churches, yes. we're going to blast it back to hell. Amen. Including the pulpits. Amen. I don't care who's in them. You can call yourself a preacher sitting out there. That goes for you too. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you preach on the corners of Cleveland. Uh -huh. We're going to get a hold of you too. Yeah, Do you hear what the word of God said? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and we're at verse 20. The most dangerous position in the whole building. It's up here. That's right. What did he say? In Ezekiel chapter 3 and we're at verse 20. That's what? Again, when a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness. When a righteous man turn from his righteousness. And commit iniquity. And commit that which is wrong. And I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Then what? Because thou hast not given him because warning. Because you didn't give him warning. He shall die in his sin. He's going to die in his sin. And his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. righteousness shall not be remembered. But his blood. But who God going to blame? His blood. Will I require at thine hand. That's why I have to tell you what's right. Have to. Have to. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't like none of you. I love all of you. <laughs> don't you like me, Pastor Jennings? No. Right. I don't like none of you. I love all of you. That's right. That's why I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, you can go to your false church tomorrow if you like yeah. and waste your time. Right. But glory to God, I'm like, well, we're going to come back and slap you over with Bible. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The word of God says what? Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. Think of it. When the prophets and the apostles was walking earth, hear me well. Those men were warners. That's right. Everywhere they went in the world, they warned the people. That's right. You can almost count on one hand how many warners. How many warners is in anybody's church? Amen. The only thing they warn you about is not giving enough money. <laughs> That's right. That's it. That's right. Outside of that, you don't get no more warning. There Another you go. Plan, there I you have it. I am totally in agreement with Pastor Gina Jennings. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.